Right, Cuban dumbbell press. Um, just a word of caution on this one, okay? This isn't some kind of bodybuilding exercise, yeah? You're not using this to get massive infraspinatus, which, yeah, you just, it's not a bodybuilding exercise, it's a rotator cuff exercise, okay? So it's designed to improve your rotator cuff. Um, any dysfunction, a bit of strengthening, so get them doing what they should do. So on that, I'm using my wife's weights, yeah? And this one is 1.13 kilogram, and I wouldn't go over this weight on this exercise because you're going to put your shoulder in an unstable position, and you know this isn't one to do with with big weights. Okay, if you haven't got 1.13 kilogram weights at home, bag of sugar is a kilogram, two bags of sugar, and that's it. You don't need to spend money for these exercises. You know, just utilize what you have lying about the house. So the way it's going to work is, so I've got my light weights, okay, and I'm going to bring my shoulders, my elbows, yeah, good anatomy, up to shoulder height, okay. Then what I'm going to do, is that recording it is, right, then what I'm going to do, from this position I'm going to bring my hands down, as far as it's comfortable, then I'm going to bring them up, this is all nice and slow, under control, so I'm up there, my fists are upright, and then I'm going to press up, into the air and then come back down under control okay and so all the way around all the way up and then up now like i say this is a rotator cuff exercise yeah so if you have an issue in the shoulder you might find you come down to here and then your shoulder starts to roll and give okay so you're looking for that point you can do it under control so if we get to here and it starts to roll then we stop there okay Equally, as we come back, if we come back and we can't, well, that's fine. We'll go to there. Then you'll find you'll be able to do the press if you just sort of move the shoulders slightly up to the top, down, and then go again, okay? That's kind of full range of movement, but you do as far, you're watching for the roll in the shoulder. If that's your effective shoulder, it'll be painful and you you'll feel the instability. And we don't want to exercise the instability, we just want to push just to it, and then away. And off we go. 10 to 12 times. Sets to three, 10 to 12 times. Go easy on it. I wouldn't say every day, maybe every other day. Yeah. And that's going to help just get those rotator cuff strengthened, functioning. If we go to that catch point, just push into it just a little bit, two seconds, and then out. Okay? But don't allow it to roll because we go to that catch point you know if the fibers have been torn and waffled for a little bit sorry about this the fibers have been torn that's a muscle fibers are torn yeah muscle heals it doesn't heal like that it heals like that so when you get to that that catchy bit yeah i say catchy bit a lot a minute don't know why right but stress the fiber slightly stress the yeah just little stress and it's going to start to Pull them back in line because we don't want them to heal like this, yeah. Because then you can imagine normal muscle length, new muscle length, short muscle, yeah. Equally, though, if you go, yeah, let's do this and just go into it, you could re rupture and then you're back to square one, and away you go. That's why I say go light with it, go careful, okay. Long waffle there, sorry about that. But that is Cuban dumbbell press.